Search and destroy strategy for ambush defense. First, always be pushing up and ready to move. Don't wait until it's uh, time to move. Be pushing up and it gives you a head start when you're starting. When you get to this position, you're going to either throw the grenade straight through or on a slight angle to the right as I'm doing, depending on where you're running. It also depends on where the enemy came from the last round. Grenade! I threw a grenade to the center and a stun to the far right in case someone got past it. I'm going to place a claymore here at the back entrance. That's going to protect uh, anyone flanking. We obviously get a guy here and we're lucky to actually be alive in that case. Uh, but the grenade that we originally threw was to kill that guy. The claymores are placed here. One, the one behind us is the place so that it either kills anyone trying to come out through that entrance and going to A or it gives us a signal that someone's going out there. You must listen for your claymores. The second claymore is placed forward if anyone's coming out of the center area here and trying to actually go through A that way because they're going to hug that wall to avoid snipers on our side. This position is great, as you can see, because you still have a view of B. You do not need to move. You have a clear sight, and as long as you see it, you, you're not going to miss anything. You can see anyone running across there, anyone trying to get into the tunnel, anyone going to the far side. And the claymore to the rear will actually let you know if anyone's trying to sneak out to uh, A, so you don't have to even actually worry about it. You can focus your full energy on one of the targets without having to worry about it. So claymores are very effective that way. They let you concentrate on what your task is. Now here obviously there's uh, someone lurking back there and we assume that he's up top, which he actually is. You must be careful. I mean, if he's got a sniper rifle, he could be far back and actually peg you, but uh, you know, that's why we kind of peered, peered around the corner there to look carefully. He's kind of trapped in there. We take some shots. He's going to back off because obviously we're getting uh, throwing some fire there. But the thing is, is when you fire, you must move. Don't stay in the same position. He's going to assume you're there. He does actually try and flank our position, but the claymore wounds him and it makes for an easy kill. Good job, team. Get ready for the next one. Again, same start. We're going to be doing the same thing. We're going to be going left. And when we get there, this time we're going to throw the grenade forward, assuming that someone is actually coming straight up there. Obviously, either a previous map or whatever. When we do that, we're going to hug to the left. Stay behind cover here. You'll see them run up if they are. You'll watch that uh, sniper position at the very end there, so don't spend a lot of time poking your head out. But because we have a teammate flushing out there, he's going to be the first one getting it. There's a bit of sno smoke. Uh, same thing. Set up the claimer to the rear. We hug in the grass towards the wall. Very difficult to see when an enemy player is coming from the center and running this way. But we're protected. We do not have to keep turning around and checking it, which is cause for a lot of deaths. There's a guy running down. Alright, so that's one. And again, we place that forward uh, claymore in there. You notice when we kill, again, I move. You move out of the way. Don't stay in the same position where you just killed someone. If you do that, they will hunt you down. You do not want to do that. You want to move. They're going to assume, like a lot of players do, they get a kill, they stay in the same position. That's not a good idea, or at least in the same area. I completely move out of the area there. Alright, so... We saw the guy go up there. You don't want to take a shot and let him know that you're actually there. He can hear you, but he's not exactly sure unless he has stereo surround. So we whip this guy real fast. We're getting hit from behind, so you gotta move. Again, kill and move. Don't assume. Now I jump right off because he's gonna assume I'm staying up there. You want to completely remove yourself from an area where you just killed. Most enemy players and most other players will do that. They will assume that you are there. And here he is. He did what I told you not to do, which is stay in the position where the enemy knows you are. Alright, we're gonna show it one more time. I'm actually using the P90 with silencer. I don't usually ever use this, so that's why I don't see any special camo on it. I'm not a big fan of it. But anyway, we're going to do the same thing as we've been doing. We're running to the left, throwing a grenade that way because that's where we're going to want to head. And that would have normally killed someone rushing here. Now, the nice thing about this position, as you can see, which is what I said before, is you can see players rushing uh, from the far side of B whether they went underneath the tunnel or not, and to the other side. That's why I use this area here. Now again, I place the claymores. You saw the claymore on the other side, and that's all fine and dandy. The problem is, is that if that one goes off, and you didn't place one there, you're not going to be able to hear it if you're off running, chasing on the other side there. You may hear some faint claymore, but it could be anywhere, and you don't know if it's yours. If you place them properly, as I just showed you there, 
you know exactly where they're going to be and where they're heading. 